Meantime, bombshell revelations from Thursday night's primetime hearing of the House Select January 6th committee. The panel laid out new evidence that former President Donald Trump watched the violence unfold on television at the Capitol, and yet he chose not to act for more than three hours. Natalie Brand has more from Capitol Hill. He betrayed his oath of office and was derelict in his duty. The January 6th Select Committee laid out its case that former President Donald Trump fueled the crowd and then did nothing to stop the Capitol attack in its early hours. We have a clear thought if we move quickly. We got smoke downstairs, set by unknown smoke. The panel played chilling audio of Secret Service agents scrambling to keep then Vice President Mike Pence safe as they feared for their own lives. There were calls to um, say goodbye to family members. The situation was escalating and it was escalating quickly. Live and taped testimony from former White House officials detailed efforts within the White House to get the former president to call off his supporters. That was pretty clear there needed to be an immediate and forceful response statement, public statement that People need to leave the Capitol now. Did you ever hear the vice president, or excuse me, the president no. ask for the National no. Guard? The committee also played never seen before outtakes of the former president's video message later that day when he finally urged supporters to go home while at the same time amplifying false claims of election fraud. And this outtake from January 7th showing Mr. Trump's struggle to concede. This election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, okay? I think the, the president certainly has criminal exposure. I'm not prosecutor, I'm not DOJ. The committee says it continues to receive new information and will hold more hearings in September. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol.